This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Degeneration of the intervertebral discs of the cervical spine is thought to be associated with symptoms such as neck and shoulder pain. Building on an earlier cross-sectional study of 497 asymptomatic healthy subjects, researchers from eight collaborating institutions in Japan recruited 193 members of the original cohort to participate in a 20-year follow-up study to assess the progression of cervical disc degeneration and its association with the development of clinical symptoms. The study group included 97 men and 96 women with a mean age of 57 years who were required to complete a questionnaire and undergo an MRI scan. The MRI scans were then independently examined by two experienced neuroradiologists who were blinded to the clinical symptoms for the following five degeneration-related findings. Decreased signal intensity of the disc, anterior compression of the dura and spinal cord, posterior disc protrusion, disc space narrowing, and foraminal stenosis. Progression of cervical disc degeneration was noted in 95% of the subjects. These progression rates were higher for decreased signal intensity, anterior compression, and posterior disc protrusion, but notably lower for disc space narrowing and foraminal stenosis. Although some subjects reported clinical symptoms such as stiff shoulders, neck pain, headache, numbness in upper limbs, tinnitus, and upper limb pain, analysis of the progression of degenerative changes and development of clinical symptoms showed that only foraminal stenosis was significantly associated with upper limb pain. Thus, despite a high rate of cervical disc degeneration being detected in all subjects over the 20-year period, analysis showed that these degenerative changes were not associated with the development of clinical symptoms apart from the association noted between foraminal stenosis and upper limb pain.